But what about a flat glass order? Well, if you're setting up a flat glass order, here's a quick preview of some of the options you have for entering your parts and prices. One simple and direct way is to simply type in the description field a description of the work and the parts for this order. And I pasted because you don't want to hear me type. And then hit your tab key. And Glasspack LX will place an MISC miscellaneous item ID in the item field, allowing you to just finish your pricing and so on. We have a number of customers that do a lot of their work this way, which is fine. The following methods I'll show you require more setup, but they do allow for more systemization and reporting and cost tracking. I'm going to place a part in this order by using an actual item ID that I have set up in my system. And to start with, I'm going to go with a simple part, uh, an each part, one that doesn't come with dimensions and sizes to account for. And I'm going to look it up by using the product lookup button. And this will show you the list of product categories. Now I want to pause here for just a moment and mention that all these product categories are customizable. There are maintenance windows in this program where you can rename and reorganize these. So don't panic if the one in your system doesn't look like this. This is simply how I've chosen to set mine up. Okay, I'm going to expand the hardware category. You can do that by either clicking that little plus that I clicked on or just double clicking the, the item. And I'm going to expand door hardware. And we're going to expand door closers will take me to surface mount and door closers. And here I just have a generic surface mount closer as a product item. You could add multiple items within the subcategory based on the manufacturer or characteristic or vendor's item number. Since this is the only product item in the subcategory, the box is already checked for me. If there are more than one item, you would see them all listed here and I would then check the appropriate box. Down below you see the quantity. It defaults to one and I can change that to whatever quantity I need and the pricing details will adjust to include the quantity. Click select and right here in green you're notified that this item has been added to the order. Click close. So here we have the ID, a description based on how the product is set up. You can also add to this if you want to, case by case. You'll have an IC status if you're using the inventory module, the quantity and the list price, a discount percentage column if the discount profile being used affects this item, then it would show here. Then the net price and the total. And notice down here you have the tallying subtotal and any applied taxes. The applied taxes come from your tax setup and you'll learn how to set that up in the branch setup guide. Now let's say that this is a part that you sell frequently and you know it well. You can bypass this whole lookup process by typing the product ID or some of the ID and pressing the tab key on your keyboard. All right, let's remove that. Now let's add a piece of flat glass so you can see how a dimensional part is added to an order. So I'll go back to my product lookup. I'll expand flat glass, annealed, clear, and I'll select annealed clear cut. And I'll, s I'll add a width, a length, and a thickness. And I want four of these and I'll click select. It's been added to the order and I'll click close and you can see here the description includes the size and thickness as well as the glass type but again you can also manually add or change and do whatever you want with this description and inventory status quantity of four list price net price final total amount there now let's add a piece of glass with a fabrication this time I know the part that I want to use it's the same anneal clear cut part so I'm just going to type the item ID and use my tab key. And I still have to add the dimensions because it's the dimensional part. So I'm going to say 18, 18, and a thickness, and select. So the part has been selected. But now this Add Fabs and Options button has been activated. So I'm going to click that. And notice how it opens to a much shorter category list. That's because it's narrowing down specifically to the Fabs and Options section of the whole category tree. I'm going to select straight edge work, flat polish. In this case, the dimensions are pulled from the part that we've already placed. Price per inch, which is how I've decided to set up this option. I'm going to select it. Now I can either go back to the order or back to the previous window where I could select more products. I'm going to go back to the order. So now you can see this piece shows the glass and the fabrication in a parent-child relationship. Now let's add a size price part. 
This is similar to a flat glass part, but instead of selecting a thickness, the part is set up to select a size. For example, patio door lights. This top one here, I have a list of sizes to select from, and I'll select 34 by 74. But I want to mention here, this size list is not built in. And if you see one similar in your database, it's because we happen to put it in your startup data as an example. But you can add, remove, or modify any size list in here. Select. And there we go. And I will let that conclude this illustration of the use of the estimate tab for a flat glass order.